at in Arcadia Smackdown. What wild theories will we come up with next? Find out on the Star Trek Picard Theory Smackdown. And welcome to the last segment of our review of Star Trek Picard Episode 9 at an Arcadia Ego. And uh, we are now going to see where we were right, where we were wrong, and how far we still have to go before the end of the season in the next episode, Episode 10. So, a uh, quick introduction of our co-hosts. Uh, the pantsless Sean O'Halloran rejoins us after uh, a few weeks off. Sean, welcome back. Thanks, sir. Uh, we also have special guest uh, Jason Kavalik joining us from Utah. Are you sheltered in place, sh Jason? Oh, um, but after Wednesday's earthquake, I'm, you know, kind of shaken. How was uh, that for you? Really, uh, are you shaken? Is that your scary? first earthquake? I'm very... My first earthquake. Oh, yeah. wow. wow. Okay. I, I've, I've been uh, in I've, so I've, many. I've, I've been through so many here in, in Vegas, believe it or not, over the past... 16 years but the thing is that they usually happen when i'm asleep or driving so i've never felt them and i finally felt my first one if you back in september and it, when i was in lowe's it was great i was like oh this I is was, so cool i was driving i didn't feel it but my wife called me freaking out and then the call dropped and i couldn't get back oh uh, so no. it was like so i was really stressed one. Well, let's proceed with our introductions. Ross, the eyebrows of doom and the bearer of the smack hammer you ready to to get that thing working tonight? The hammer is ready to fall. The hammer is ready. <laughs> our stalwart producer, I'm Justin Down. <laughs> Justin, I know you're particularly excited about this uh, episode of the SmackDown. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll see. And Travis Linton, how are you? Oh, hanging in there. As hanging in there. Cool. And it's of course, uh, our mascot, oh, sorry. Our mascot, Index, better known as Sun Seal. Welcome back, Sun. Right. Okay, let's get ready to smack. Okay, we're going to go in reverse chronological order. This week, I actually printed my SmackDown sheets so I could count them up to see uh, which ones were right, how many were right, how many were wrong. Uh, how many we still have yet to learn, um, how many were sort of half right, we'll go from there. All right, so uh, let's start with, um, uh, we'll start with uh, Kate Stark's um, prediction that Elnor will join the Fenris, Render Fenris Rangers next. Uh, that still looks possible to me, so I have it listed as a question mark. Plausible. I like that theory. Uh, the next one, the next one is from you, Justin, and it was that Riker will show up with Worf and LaForge in tow, despite Kurtzman having said so early. Worf. Uh, you only have one episode left to be right about this. I well, I think you're going to be wrong, but yeah, well, I think considering it's not O showing up in the Federation fleet now. Uh, well, you got that one wrong. <laughs> right position, wrong fleet. Yep. Mm. Yep. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, next is uh, one from me and Justin, and that is uh, that the reactivated cube will appear again in the final confrontation, saving the day. That is looking pretty close to hey. likely. Yay! Oh, I would like to make an addendum what? to that and say it's the sphere held within the cube. Oh, you think so? Well, it would have been... That's, the the sphere port driving. is pretty predominant on most of the It does show, the yeah, it does show it on that, uh, uh, yeah, that long, sh that wide establishing shot of the, of the cube crashed on the planet. Uh, okay, I'm going to add that one, Ross. You, know, you, didn't, you don't really notice the sphere until now until it comes out transor i yeah, the 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 port has been there a couple times just not not as readily apparent sure but it didn't show the spear <laughs> okay i'm putting that down as the borg sphere will come out of the wrecked cube 
Okay, and I think that's pretty plausible. All right, uh, moving on. Um, Sun predicted that Seven will not reconnect to the cube and the surviving Borg will instead form a collective, a cooperative, uh, as they did in the uh, Voyager episode, Unity, which I actually went and rewatched this week, thanks to you, Sun. So thank you for, for getting me to, to rewatch that. Um, so I think this one is still a holdout. We have to see if, if exactly what's gonna happen with the XBs uh, and the extent to which Seven will be in charge. Um, they're certainly hinting it's possible, but it could go anyway, I think at this point. Can I make an addendum to that one? Uh, sure. Um, I think if she does reconnect to the cube, she'll be able to disconnect again like before. That she has the power to do it, uh, connect and disconnect that well. But will she want to? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I, I think she think always has the power to do it. It's whether she has yeah, the will. I think, I, would... I think it's where it will all boil down to the, the time that she is connected and um, will be a uh, determination factor if she wants to be unconnected. It's With like an addiction no to a more... drug. With no more drones aboard the ship and nothing but XBs, there isn't a reason for her to reconnect to the cube. Well, Except other the than cube controlling the cube. Well, yeah, the cube. You don't yeah. need to control. You don't need to be connected. Go ahead. Yeah, well, but if you but if you're connected through your mind to the cube, you can control, make the uh, adjustment faster and quicker if you can with the console. Yes, but you don't need to be directly connected in order to control the cube. We've seen disconnected Borg control ships without being a part of the collective. Yeah, They've but yeah, but they also it. had a bunch sure, but they Borg established pretty. They established pretty clearly in the last episode that uh, uh, controlling the cube is the big reason for her to have connected to it. So right, but they were able to pilot there without being connected well sure but this is more than just piloting she reactivated it she got it to to begin re uh Regenerate. regenerating um she was able to see picard and transport pod to it and realize that he needed help and then we don't know that she was connected at the time done. I, I, I did notice something that i don't think we brought up in at all the the last thing okay it's kind of a good thing that the Romulans kind of blew out all the the the, the non-awakened Borg because they wouldn't have survived that crash landing. Probably <laughs> not. Well, that, that, undoubtedly that, some of them would have. I mean, the they, orchids basically soft land you if, you know, it's a it's a big cube, so probably it was a harder land, landing than you would otherwise well, expect. But right. the XB survived. Seven and Elnor survived. Right, the drones. But, but you also you also have to you also have to remember that board cube is crunched like a half destroyed uh, like skyscraper. And they made a comment about how destroyed the cube was. Like, oh boy, this thing took a hit. And you're actually surprised by it. But they, they self repair. I yeah. mean, you know, so I, how. How wrecked is a board cube ever, really, unless it's completely... I don't know. It seems kind of crunched in half. <laughs> yeah, I agree about that. Yeah, yeah, I think a good portion of it was blown Fear's out. Not. And it was still... Up, it was still... Had an atmosphere. It it's, still had power. It's yeah, remember they, the they, they, they made that comment... They were able to exercise some control over it. They, they said uh, way back in one of the early Borg episodes that, you know, 90% of the of a cube could be could be damaged and it would still be able to regenerate and and be a formidable force. So they're 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 tough. They're tough. That, cubes. And, uh, we'll see. See the spear, uh, that looks pretty much intact. So I mean they, well that's the we see the port the we sphere. don't see the sphere itself. Yeah. I thought we, we saw the sphere. No mm -hmm. we did not. We did not. You just saw the the port, yeah. Um, okay, let's go to the next one. And this is uh, Justin's um, theory that the Borg time traveled to create themselves. I think it's as ridiculous today as it was last week. Uh, I'm counting that one as a wrong, given that we only Give have Give him the one. SmackDown. It's, it's not, not, one, one. It's, it's, it's not, it's, we're not going to get an answer to that 
question in this series. They, they, That's not what this about, series is about. Is this a new? Did right. I miss this over the last past few weeks? Is this a yes. new theory? <laughs> yes. You, oh, Justin. Is what you miss when you're not Justin, here? Yeah, Justin is channeling the soul of George so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm, he really I'm, is. I love you, Justin. I'm trying to feel them right. Except that Except that somehow George would end up right. Yeah. <laughs> no, George was mostly wrong, but when he was right, he was really right. Was, yeah, George the, threw the, spaghetti on the wall all like the time. Like the board shows yeah. up. And the sometimes it's stuck. The broken clock twice a day. <laughs> so here's the thing. Leave it on the board because Justin may, be not, may not be right this season. Give him the smackdown. He gets a smackdown. If you if we have to call it back a year from now, Justin, we will throw your, ourselves at your feet in a frenzy of self abasement. But for now, it's a smackdown. Give him a smackdown. Make it so. Thank you. You're smacked. Okay. Uh, next is Travis's uh, prediction <coughs> that Narek will betray the Romulans. Uh, I think that's going to be wrong. Again, we only have one episode left so i i don't think that big a turnaround except we have it. a trailer that show clearly shows them at the la serena saying he's here to save the day and what would his alternative be the the, the artifacts he'd be really welcome there i'm curious exactly. to see. no but it could be it, like his his love for soji right i mean he generally has feelings for for soji he Digital does Jim. but good lord there's something, else hell to too. There, there's something else to consider too about this and when they did that whole circle of those ladies he wasn't in that circle where they all it saw it was only women it was only women exactly so he doesn't have nearly the motivation that his sister is fucking does so he I is am, not <laughs> he is not doing that with his sister dude he's so I am is. uh I am uh, <laughs> I am not uh, biological. I am very much um, on board with it going either way. I know it could very much be yes, but definitely in the middle. If I'm wrong, I look forward to saying to Ross next week, give me the SmackDown. Okay. We but don't we have a scene with a trailer with all of them on Lost Rain at, somewhere, uh, at some point? Oh, well, we don't, again, we don't what's his know. alternative? Yeah. He would not exactly be very welcome on the artifact. But why wouldn't he be in the Romulan fleet, though? Because, because they're a day the away. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to change that to a question mark for you, Travis. You have one episode left. Like I said, if I have to tell Ross to give me the SmackDown, I will. Give okay. me the SmackDown. We're going to hold you to that. Okay, next is uh, Ross's uh, prediction that a Starfleet squadron sent by Clancy would be commanded by Commodore O, and the answer to that, of course, is oh no! no. Oh no! <laughs> That's a smackdown. a smackdown. A self smack. <laughs> okay. Um, next is another Ross prediction that Elnor will be Seven's voice of reason when she refuses to release the cube. Looks we like have one novel. episode left in which that to happen. Um, I'm uh, right now on my little tally here. I have it listed as a question mark, so we may have to wait a week to formally smack down. But I think it's headed in the direction of sm of smackdown. Mm -hmm. But well, didn't that happen last week? Do it once. We see it. We see him do it once. No, so she, didn't let, she she didn't refuse to release the cube. She she partly didn't want to, but the, oh. the idea here was that that <laughs> by reconnecting yet again, she will she will not, or she'll go okay. into a frenzy or something, and Elmer kind of calls her back. Um, okay, so um, a third Ross prediction. Yeah, <laughs> that was on a okay, roll last so we, week. We do have another. Ross prediction, and that is that the Takan are behind the admonition and will intervene when a civilization reaches the threshold of synthetic life. That's, so that's not exactly what I said. Uh, okay, what did you say? I said that the, the Takan were the race that were wiped out, that they were behind the admonition, and they were the race that were wiped out. That well, was remember last week we thought the admonition was 
from was left by the race that was wiped out, right. not left by the synths. So, but Michael Chabon confirmed that the Takan were the race that were wiped out. Oh, he did. Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Confirm- really? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. Where, where did he do that on Instagram or he something? Did, but it was on Twitter. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can He's find that tweet, I'd love to read that. He's been doing a bunch of. But uh, no, I, I said that it was. I said it was a, a higher entity that was that, that was would intervene on behalf of, of synthetics. And I used the words Takan and Iconian to uh, to as as stand-in pronouns and uh, as the most likely candidates. The well, Iconians you're right about the, the Takan. I think the the Takan being the ones that were exterminated. Yeah, I, I think the Iconian theory is pretty much shut down. Um, but we'll get to that one in a second. Okay, next one is, so I'm gonna count that as right, Ross. Woo-hoo. So you're, you're, it's an anti-smack. Uh, um, okay. you go. I'm breaking uh, even. Ooh, the next one is from me. Give me that cookie. <laughs> next one's from me. We'll see seven as queen again, and the cube will play some role. You only have Smack one it down. left, Carlos. Yes, I only have, but it's still quite possible, given that she, there still is a cube, there still is her, and there still is a big fight ahead. So it is eminently possible. Okay, um, next uh, from Kate. Unfortunately, her prediction that the La Serena will, w- may well be sentient herself doesn't appear to be the direction the, this show is going. So I think Give we can a- consider that one a smack. That is a full wow. smack. That is a full smackdown. Thank you. If we we should be able, we should get like a sound effect for the smack for when it hits. Is uh, yes, you find one. Let me know when you find one. We'll we'll have more. We have more smackdowns coming up. <laughs> okay. Um, next is uh, Justin. That Hugh is not dead, and uh, I think he's dead. He's Give him dead. the smack. He did. I think I think he dead, and this is a smackdown. Uh, so. I, don't, I don't think I, I, I respectfully object to this. It's not that I think he's alive. It's that I think that because this is Star Trek, it can be left open for his return at another time. He was a Borg after all. He's got those little nanoprobes running through him. So I, I'm not completely committed to him Except being the, the more dead. They harvest components and then yeah, disintegrate leave, their dead. Leave the bodies. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about. I think that. he's I'm dead. Talking, he dead. I'm talking about the little the nanoprobes he has. Inside. Yeah, but he's only like uh, most of his board stuff is gone. Uh, Look, we spent we spent an entire actual season like between things of the Doctor from Discovery being actually fucking dead before he came back to life. Thank I've you. I've got a sound effect. I've got a sound effect. And we have a whole other thing about one of the crew members from Discovery, but her memory off. So okay, we're not talking about Discovery. It, give us, uh, can do it, why can't the board? Give us the, give us the sound effect, Travis. Russ, give him the smackdown. Okay, so why can't the board memories live in the collective? They because do. he's not a Borg anymore. But the him. body is gone. He's Borg enough. I'm saying that the word is wrong. I'm willing to bet that Carlos didn't hear the sound effect. <laughs> I didn't. It was really None of us low. He's, he's dead yeah, for now. Yeah, whenever you click share, you got to click sound only. Oh, yeah. You have to. You, he's, only he's, he's just he's playing it off it his, on phone. his phone. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good cartoon smack. <laughs> okay. Um, next is. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay, this is one from Kate. Don't have a lot of secret synths running around, but lost or any. Okay, we, that one we just smacked down. We just smacked, smacked down. Him. He was not dead. Uh, next is from Sun. With reactivation of right. the EMH, the truth will come. Oh, we already said that was true last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, next got- is uh, Travis's. We haven't seen the last of Will Riker. That still can happen. Yeah. I would like to make an addendum to that. Yes. Um, that we will see Michael Doran for and why are you for Wait, no, they're wait. all in a goddamn photo together. We okay, have been one, so dude, they were again. visiting the set. So but okay. why? Why can't it not be in there? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Justin. 
You can't make an addendum to a prediction and it's already on Why the Why not everyone else that? No, they haven't. <laughs> you I already made talk... that prediction. It was just as wrong today as it was back then. I want yeah, to talk okay. about Whenever something. Yeah, okay, whatever happened, I'll laugh. I, I, I got defective Oreos. I mean, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> They're all fucking like this. I'm not, I should have cream on one side only. What is going on here? Are you sure they're not double stuff? No, these are definitely not double stuff. Okay. Here, here, have a thin mint. This is why they were- Blame Corona. I'm blaming coronavirus. This is why they were three for for 10 bucks at Albertsons. The defects, the coronavirus. Stop eating Hydrox. They were so cheap. Stop eating Hydrox, Sean, and go- Hydrox, the fake Oreos, the four Oreos. (laughs) You mean okay. the real uh, Oreo before Oreos were actually even Oreo? <laughs> okay, so uh, still a question mark there for Travis on uh, Will Riker. Next is one that uh, Justin and I had, that Seven is the Destroyer, not Soji. That is now clearly wrong. Give him a uh, smack. Down. So smack us down. Have a down! <clears throat> okay, that's a much uh, To better. you and me both on that one. Justin. <laughs> okay, next um, is also from Justin, who believes Seven will take over the artifact and will die. I said yes on Rebellion, no on the death. Um, you got, you've got a half point on that one, Justin. So we won't count you totally wrong, but she ain't gonna die. <laughs> we don't know yet. We got one more episode yet. We got one episode left. There is literally a segment, a percentage of the audience that is only tuning in for seven of nine at this point. It's a, it's a fact. Yeah, no, I, I, I think you're right. That's, that's the effect that's, of seven of nine. Yeah. There's a, there, here's a big question. What is the problem with Star Trek and that they seem to be able to make better secondary characters than the primary character they're supposed to be following. That's you know usually, that is gonna, actually that's a fairly common uh, yeah. uh, problem in in storytelling. Um, so I'm not surprised. I um, mean, the, the, you're, you've just de- defined Deep Space Nine. I mean, right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, it, it, it's true. I mean, the, the secondary character in Deep Space Nine were always far more interesting than the primary. And characters. Cisco. <laughs> wait, wait. So who so. who are the primary characters in Deep Space Nine? And who are the secondary? Okay. Cisco. So you, uh, I didn't watch. Well, Cisco, uh, Kira, uh, O'Brien, Odo. Odo. Uh, Jake, was main, Jake was main cast. All the uh, names in the second minute of the opening credits. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, so, but then you've got, you know, Andrew Robinson as Garrick, and you've got, uh, you've got Gul Dukat, and... Uh, Would Worf be considered secondary? No, he's no. his main cast. <laughs> his main cast. <laughs> yep. Nog was, was secondary cast. I, I, think, Tung, I think Aaron Nog. Eisenberg is Nog, right? Yeah. Mourn. Mourn for show. Hell yeah. Vic Fontaine. <laughs> <laughs> Wayun, you know? Oh yeah, one Wayun. through thirteen. Oh, one through nine. Um, okay, so let's move to uh, the next one. This one's from Ross, and his prediction was that the synths in the nest are self-propagating. Now, this uh, is an interesting question, Ross, because um, I got the impression, although I, I'm not sure they really stated this one way or the other. I got the impression that all of these are still being built per se yeah. they're not like having sex and no making more but of they them. are seemingly constantly creating nuisance right but that's not self-propagation as uh, if they know, are to, if they are giving it no it it was maddox and and uh and young soon soon self-propagation yeah. doesn't necessarily mean biological well, if they, are means, giving, if they are contributing to the building process, they are self-propagating. Are, uh, are they maybe, continue, I don't know. Are they continuing to grow, though? Like, I mean, this is like a colony of replicators. There was a finite number of, I mean, there, there were a lot, but it wasn't like it was, you know, if you think about how many years has it been that they've been there doing this, is that there would be millions at that rate if they were self-propagating. Yeah, they were fairly Not necessarily if they take their time in building each one, which makes sense. If uh, uh, the, 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 the Sun Tsung and Maddox consider themselves artists and take their time and, and craft each synth as an artisan, they're not cranking them out in mass production. They're lovingly, intentionally creating each pair of synth. 
And if that, if that same design aesthetic is imparted to the synthetics, the synthetics creating further life would also be that long of a process. Not only that, we see the iteration from each synth. We see the yeah. more primitive looking, almost uh, uh, Utopia Planitia style synth uh, once or twice, but then they iterate and you see gradually more human looking ones. So, and you can see it most clearly with um, Sutra and Soji. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, you can also see it in group shot whenever they're all standing in a circle. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there towards the end, and you see yeah. like they're, they're, they It makes me wonder, up. like, what do these synths do all day? Just, they you know. Well, they, if you're they, Sutra, they, they skip around the, like the Angel One people. They yeah. stoke the fires in, that, in, in those little bowls. <laughs> and if you're Sutra, you learn how to you learn how to play the Vulcan that's lyre. That's true for Sutra. That's and, that's, and learn uh, how to mind meld. Yeah, I mean that's true for Sutra, but the rest of them don't look like they're really busy doing much of anything. Maybe they're they didn't have very much their opportunity multiple techniques. to see what they do. Day they play day. Xbox. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> probably. Okay, so we're gonna keep that one as a. Uh, uh, I'm gonna count that one as a yes, Ross, because. Mm, it's kind of fudging with what self-propagating means, but I think there, there's I mean, there, there propagation going on. They're going to have to be able to reproduce after soon leaves. I mean, you know. And just, a condition to consider something alive is to reproduce. That is true. That is true. Good point. Um, okay, so next um, is also from Ross. Uh, Something malevolent in the galaxy is corrupting synthetics into destroying organic life. Uh, so that's kind of right, kind of wrong. I mean, overall, story-wise, you're right, but the particulars are wrong. Um, well, the, as, as we get new details, we see, we, we see a more of the picture. That's yes. the picture we had at the time. Now we have a more complete image and sure. we'll, that will continue to be refined. Yes, yeah, indeed. The, um, yeah. Right now I have it marked as an ish. Ish. You're right, ish. <laughs> ish. <laughs> but yes, you're right. We'll see what happens as things go on. Travis, you're going to say something. I was just going to say he gets a half a cookie. Oh, yeah, you, get, you get, well, see, that's the beauty of those Oreos is that he gets, both halves have the, have the stuffing. Don't Not go around. Me. Everybody's Promising a winner, Sean. I, when you can give me no cookies. I, look, I, I'll do I like to make you excited. If Sean, if Sean is going to give me a cookie, I need to ask for a knife too, so he can have his cream bag. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Okay. No, um, let's see. Let's go to Justin's is next, and his theory is that Gerardi is a synth. Sorry, In Justin, dead wrong. Ah, uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. We got yeah. one more. Let we got uh, one more. No, we got there's one more. nothing to indicate that she's anything but human. Is that an indicate? Yeah. He's so we're not. just going to walk over the SmackDown that the real Gerardi is dead, our Gerardi's a synth. Uh, I thought yes. we smacked that down last week. No, no we haven't yet. Yeah, we did. Really? Because I, I thought I uh, put if a, she, okay, a red here's mark the thing. that. If she were a synth, yeah, would O have it, let her live? We smacked that down last week, you guys, because I put a red mark through Why that. Why would O know? If, then, and if, if, you, if, if you smacked that down last week, then why didn't you smack Justin's down last week? Because we still didn't know. Yeah, we yeah. had a week. I was wrong about the real Gerardi being dead. If Gerardi was a synth, we would have known about it when she showed up. Because the only yeah, synths that are being made, presumably, mind. are in this commune. Yes, and there are would be two sure? of her. Yeah, but we, maybe we haven't seen I her said yet. we know of. Red alert, red and alert. I got a good one. I finally got a good one. Red Wait. alert. Excellent. We, we haven't seen her yet. I mean, very still O out. seemed to know that beautiful flower and uh the 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 other one sutra sister were since jana yeah jana Justin, before be anybody less, else had the chance to say anything it'll be far less painful if you just let it happen give him the smackdown i already gave I it the think smackdown. Bullshit. okay no sorry you're that's a smackdown justin yeah. uh okay next is um uh, my prediction uh that there would be a borg uprising on the artifact Soji is the destroyer because she leads the XBs to break their shackles. Uh, and I think that's probably wrong. 
So uh, the, the there down. was an uprising mean, on the artifact, which is close that's enough. That's true. I mean, I put it as a half. And Soji yeah. was tangentially responsible for the XBs breaking their shackles. No, it was pretty much Seven that did that. Yes, but Seven wouldn't have been there if they hadn't gone there for Soji. Yeah, it was, it was Soji's but... fault everything happened. So tangentially. Cir uh, okay. Uh, circumstantially. Yes. We'll, we'll keep it tangential then. Okay, moving on uh, to Sean. Um, Big Sean's uh, special bond between Soji and Rafi, not that I've seen. They did have a couple of lines back and forth um, going through the, the transwarp conduit, but I, I didn't see anything like this. Goes, the, the, this and the back, funny line about the space the fungus. fungus yeah. Well, this goes back to my problem that I'm having here is that they seem to be setting us up and then just kind of abandoning shit. So, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going that way. Give him the smackdown. Give him the smackdown. Bam. Bam. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, um, I think we probably can smack down Travis's prediction that Rafi's getting a heart to heart uh, with Counselor Troy. We didn't yes. smack that. Ready? It's not going to happen in the next episode. Smack no, it down. Mean, no, 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 no. Smack <laughs> oh, did we? I, okay, if we did, I did not. Yeah, I thought we did I already. So. I, I, mean, I neglected like, I don't, to. I don't mind taking another one, but. Okay. Sorry about that. Smack me down uh, again. All right, next is Ross. Admiral Clancy will decloak in the Enterprise E. <laughs> Here, oh here's what I have to say about that. You have one episode. <laughs> Fanwink. Hey, yes, that's exactly hey, how I have it marked there. Um, oh my God. Okay. So, what's going on? <laughs> so, since we, we don't know. <laughs> what just happened? Now oh. I can't tell my coworkers to watch. Oh, oh, my God. oh boy. Oh, oh my God. Rafi oh. gave himself a family oh. facial. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Uh, sorry, folks at home. Good night, buddy. <laughs> hey, uh, rule 34. I bet you we'll find this. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, my God. Okay, ah, so the next. I broke Justin. <laughs> You broke Justin. Okay, our next prediction uh, from Travis uh, that we'll see cloaked Federation starships. Uh, Sun thinks Rios' original starship, the Ibn Majid, was a Pegasus cloaked fed vessel. That is wrong. Uh, the cloaked Federation I, starships, we don't know for sure yet, but probably I actually wrong. I would like to address this one. Um, Michael Chabon addressed this on Instagram uh, this week as well. What did he say? Someone asked him if um, the Federation was still abiding by the uh, no cloak technology uh, clause. And he said, and I quote, as far as I know, so it's a plausibility, but it's looking unlikely. Yeah, if I have to I think down, I will. I, we, I think you get the smackdown, dude. Make it so, Ross. Oh. Bam. No, no, make it right. Do the sound effect. Okay, oh, now this I one's going to be interesting you. because I think I'm going to get flack on this one. But the next episode is from Sun and Justin. Uh, the demons of air and darkness are Iconians. I think it's going to be way too late for Iconians to be introduced into this series. Give them I a think, smackdown. I think it's Unless a by the AI, AI Federation is Iconian. Or the AI Except Federation we know they them out. We know the, or, the Iconians were organic. We don't. They can change whatever they want. We can change whatever they want. Were, with were, they, were they called organic? Whoa. Were they organic? Whoa. We don't know that. Whoa. Yeah, we yeah, don't. Don't, it, don't we? No. The no. timeline doesn't add up, does it? The Guardian? I'm okay. Okay, what, what was the, this? Is the episode with the Ferengi where the Arconian? No, that's the Takan. Right? That's the Takan. Oh, fuck it. That's the Takan. Fuck that shit. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Maybe sorry. it's the Takan. Smack him. Smack him. The Takan's already been talked about. Well, the, this one. The, okay, according to Ross Ross. and according to Shaban, the, the Takan were wiped out by this Federation already. 
So the Federation oh, itself already exists. Right. So it's like, the Khan were 600,000 years ago, according to Memory Alpha, whereas the Iconian civilization was destroyed 200,000 years ago, according so to it Memory Alpha. It could have happened multiple times. Oh, God. Good God. This minute. isn't Battlestar Galactica. Yes, it is. Why not? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. You got it, fucking it is. Cylon. Would that be it wrong is. if it you was? Got Cylon. How you got awesome would it be if I think the Iconians, the... the Iconians are a smackdown. How awesome Especially would... since, since he said that the Takan were involved. You're not going to have both of them. Jason, how, go ahead. How awesome would it be if, if the AI from 600,000 years ago were the Cylons? That'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, that wouldn't be um, I think, Ross, if you want to do that little thing again, that this would be a good time. <laughs> no, Carlos, it will never be a good time for that again. <laughs> Ever. My Lord. <laughs> he gave himself a fucking facial. No. Okay, <laughs> moving ahead. Um, yeah, let's okay. see. Uh, okay. Um, That's a great next way to is... give yourself rope burn, Jason. <laughs> Next is Sun's um, Sun's prediction that Commodore O's final words will be her name. And I'm going to technically leave that as a as a question mark because it. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Uh, oh happen. my! Uh, okay, moving on to Justin. And sorry, Justin, you're wrong on this one again. Doctor Lewis Zimmerman may be working with Maddox. Yeah, yeah, I saw that one. Nope, wasn't. it was a new. It was a different soon. It was a different soon. So give him the smack. Give him the smackdown. Oh, that's kind of an. That's an honorable mention, though. No, it's not. I know. Yeah, it's 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 I mean, because if you'd known there was a son of Soon out there, I mean, you would have gone for that. But the logical, you know, fanboy connection here would have been Zimmerman. Right, think, but this is about friends. being right and wrong, and it's wrong. I would say family. I, you get, there's gray with this. Not with <laughs> Lewis oh. Zimmerman. Yes. There's still one more episode yeah, to go. Okay. Um, and if he gets mentioned, you owe me $20. <laughs> next is uh, Ross with Maddox is not alone, working with others who have an agenda that Dodge and Soji are searching for, and you are right about that one, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, moving on, um, let's see, Sun's prediction, the board nope, created- Nope, 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 you skipped one. We have to smack down this one from Kate. I never make predictions about shows <laughs> I <I'm doing. laughs> That's true. That's right. She technically has made predictions. So, yes, that would technically be Give a Give her the smackdown. Smack sorry, sorry you're not here to get your smackdown, Kate, but we'll let you know. Uh, okay, thank you, Sun, on that one. Uh, next one is from Sun. The Borg were created before the Vulcans and Romulans split. I'm listing that just as a question mark because we don't know. Um, the Borg thing, I think we're going to see spill over into, into season two. Um, in fact, I'm going to officially put that in, add it to the uh, spreadsheet. Oh, I can't wait for a cliffhanger on this season. <laughs> Because you know they're going to blue ball us. <laughs> well, they have to leave something, yeah. They're like, going to blue ball us, and then it's going to be a year and a half before well, we say anything well, else. Well, you don't have to worry about that with the Ross on the case. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you have to um, worry about Roper with Ross on the case. So next is my uh, prediction. Lotion, I'll be fine. Moving on, <laughs> folks. Uh, next is my prediction uh, that the ancient Romulans created the Borg. I'm there. No. And I think the jury's still um, out. No. I, I have an no. argument against this other yeah. than I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the focus of your argument for this theory was the fact that this creation of the Borg directly led to their dis, their distrust and hostility against synthetic life. Correct? Yes, that's true. We now okay. know that the source uh, of that ant uh, that antipathy is the admonition. Uh, no, that is wrong. That it made. If you listen yeah, to Charles. if you listen if you listen to what they said about the Jat Baj when they showed the admonition, they said that happened only centuries ago. Whereas the Borg and and the ancient Romulans were tens of thousands of years ago. And in fact, the Jat Vaj predate the admonition. No, Remember, no, no, Laris no, 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 no
the Jock Vaz was straight porn because Rachel Romulan found the affirmation. Nope, that is not correct. Uh, that is not correct. Listen, watch that episode again, yeah, Justin, and you will hear you will hear them say that it was it only the past few centuries. But just because Laris thinks they were thousands of years old doesn't mean they were thousands of years old. Well, the admonition was put there by the AI Federation. Just be prepared for a smackdown next Yeah, this was a message from them to synthetic life, predating probably most organic life that we see in the galaxy in Star Trek. Yeah, that's true. Vulcans, they're they're by predating. Yeah, but that doesn't that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that the the that the that really has no bearing on the Borg's origins. Yes, but what I'm saying is, if if the the center of your of your argument is that the Romulans' creation of the Borg created their antipathy for synthetic life, that's incorrect. That no, it's not, because that could still have led to the whole reason that they even found the admonition. The admonition no, seems to be the source just, to me as they presented in the episode. Right. Nope, yeah, because that's they the way said it was thousands immediate. of years ago, right. and this has only been a few a few centuries. That is a complete stretch. I don't yep. think so. Uh, yeah, I, I think, think it is. So. Uh, I've stated well, my case. For now, anyway, you, we can establish what the timeline was, and and the timeline is as I said. So, uh, I, I've know. I've made my case. I'll leave it at that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah. You know, we'll we'll see what happens, but uh, you'll be. You can't argue the timeline, and the at timeline least have is something more than I don't like versus it. tens of thousands of years. What's that, Ross? At least I have something more than I don't like it. Yeah, yeah that's I, a, yeah. No, oh. I got the same argument last week, so just so just remember, good luck. <laughs> just remember, Carlos, like there, there there is the possibility of Lars being an unreliable narrator when it comes down to the history of the Zotbosh. Well, I agree with you that it goes back so far that you know you don't know exactly when the origin is, but but there's a huge difference between uh legends and mythology that goes back tens of thousands of years versus things that are only uh, centuries. I mean, but you also got to understand that the, the the secretive nature of the Romulan culture is you really could have had something created really recently, but was said was thousands of years old. I'm not saying that it's the case. I'm just saying that you have to at least consider the possibility. I consider the possibility. I just don't think it's very likely. I, I mean, Laris is uh, Laris is I would think uh, a more reliable narrator than not. I would I would call Laris reliable. Yeah, I think from her perspective, I don't think she was lying. I'm just saying that I think that her her knowledge of history may be colored or distorted by yes, her um, her her history her history of the Zotfosh is most certainly colored by the right. fact that her mother was a Romulan drunk, <laughs> and her handler in the in the Tal Shiar. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> okay, let's move on. It's still a question mark. Um, and we go next to Justin. Uh, and I only wrote one thing down here, and that thing is Q. And sorry, Justin, you're out of here. Smack no, him down. No, no, one more. Yes. One more. Not, one more. No. They're not going to pull no. Q out of the hat Why not? in the single last Why? Week. Because it's, 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 because it's a deus ex machina. It would be dumb. What if? I can have Q. No, that is not how Michael Chabon writes. That is not how he writes. What if the AI Federation arrives and Q is at its head? <laughs> then I will. Then I will eat my, you know, hat or whatever. But that's no, not going to happen. Michael Chabon has the, not turned down Q. Smack him down. Smack he him down. No smack down down yet. Smack him down. If we, we were, if we were, yet, if no. we were farther if away you, from the, if you won't smack down the Romulan at the board, then no. you can't smack this down. Either. Yeah, but because what? they're not even remotely the same. They're not thing. remotely the same. Sorry, it's Man. a smack down. Smack him. Uh, I'm reluctant. No. I don't Damn. want to smack down. I'm not going to be smack down. I want to keep it on the leg. Yeah. My I refuse. My I refuse to have it uh, okay. down. Okay. <laughs> my producer. One, my pay one, is final. Uh, one, uh, here, there's an argument against Carlos's argument against Q. You keep bringing up this, it's a deus ex machina, when you yourself talk about hating the AI Federation. So, 
as what? it is. Blow what? it out your own ass. Wait, wait, wait. Speaking what? of blowing it out your own ass and Deus Ex Machina, have you heard about the version of Cats with the buttholes? <laughs> Sunday, man. Sunday. Sunday. That's, Sunday. Yeah, that's for, Sunday. That's for the regular Sunday. show. That's for the regular show. We'll, we'll revisit that butthole. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, stuff, but stuff, stuff, I have but no stuff. idea what you're talking about in equating those two things. You, you uh, literally said that the, the, the whole setup for this for um, Sutra and the AI Federation was setting up a deus ex machina. I was making a joke, son, because they're machines. Oh. Nobody else got it. Well, that's, what it that's where it came from. God in the machine. Send me, Justin. Oh, my God. OK, uh, you're welcome. On. Yeah. Uh, this one is Sean's, and Sean, sorry, but she Juliana is, is not still around your SmackDown. She, she may be still around. Back back. They're so not going to pull. Dude, there is so they much that has to happen in that last episode. Out of the ass. I'm not, Julia. Saying, not something up. they're going I'm to talk about in the series. She could around. presumably still be around, right. but yeah. it's not related it's, to the series. It's irrelevant to the, the story. It'll be far less painful if you just let it happen. Give just them the let it happen. Do it. it. Do it. Uh, Do it. Man. Bam. Sorry, Sean. Okay. Uh, well, next Carlos is, is getting drunk on power. From yeah, Sun. He is. And you're his, you're his, his <laughs> spear. His hammer I his simply face. wield the hammer. Right. The hammer, God. bitch. The, the okay. Hammer. Next, one is from, next one is from Sun. Uh, that Romulans have Picard's DNA and activated his terminal disease. Oh, okay. I think that's pretty wrong. Smack her down. Smack her down. Bam. Thank you. I am no bitch. Goon, probably. <laughs> Goon. I was going to say toady, but, uh, you know, whatever. Um, okay, next is from Ross. Uh, it was a little vague, but uh, more political intrigue between the Romulans and Federation re-AI. You know, ish, I guess. Did, did, um, did somebody say Toad? toad. <laughs> oh, Toad! <laughs> wrong show, wrong well, show. Well, it seems more likely in the beginning of the season when it seemed like the, the show is taking place more within the Federation than, than not. But as the show progresses, it's getting more and more out of the Federation, outside yeah. Yeah, of... Not focusing on the hour. I don't want to so say it's... it's well, it's, I'm not, it's I'm listed not, in there as a self a smackdown. smackdown, so, yeah. Yeah, it's listed as a self, cause, but it's still, I mean, you're, eh, you're not totally wrong. Okay, next <laughs> is Sean. Oh, we already did that one. Uh, Maddox had enough of data. Uh, okay, next is Justin. Dodge came from Lord Neurons and beat for his body. Sorry, Justin. Smack him down. Um, smack him down. That one, okay. But I don't think we're okay. going to see Lord is somewhere. Okay, next like one is, uh, is Joe's. That Maddox created Dodge from a bits of from bits of data. That part is right, but uh, not the bits of data that survived Nemesis because he didn't survive Nemesis. So that's a half right uh, for Joe. Help. And uh, finally, our last prediction from Sean. I think it should be SmackDown, but Sean is holding true Fucking that a. Merrick and Rizzo, or sorry, Merrick and Narissa are actually. You know. Yes. Well, I haven't seen that much sexual chemistry between had no siblings. direct contact. Oh. Okay, go wait ahead, a second. Jason, 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 go ahead. Jason I haven't first. seen that much sexual chemistry between siblings since Jamie and Cersei Lannister. Thank you very yes. much. Exactly. No, yes. that's exactly what Sean said too, but yep. uh, I ain't. Crow intention. Hello. That, <laughs> that last episode where they were like, I was just like, fuck it and kiss already. Exactly. The way they I tend to oh believe God, there's a scene where she's straddling him on a bed. I mean, come and on. then chokes him. Right? Yeah, and he digs that shit. Next I don't think up. he dig that shit. Yeah, it's called did. a power play. Move yes, on. thank you, Ross. Um, okay, that winds up our uh, erotic our current list. <laughs> that winds up our current list of predictions. We've added uh, a couple more, uh, three more. Now let's go around. I know some of you have some theories and predictions you want to make. Travis, let's start with you. All right. I'm going to go out on a limb, but I think this is a pretty fun one. Uh -oh. I believe that Picard's 
terminal um, brain abnormality might be cured by a synthetic um, uh, transference. Not it's a the, positronic uh, matrix. Not quite. Like I'm kind of thinking about the uh, cure that was that would have saved Riker's uh, child. Yeah, positronic. Ooh. I believe that the cure for his abnormality mm -hmm. lies in the same area. I, I think so too, actually. I have a broader theory on that one. I'm glad that I'm not saying something completely stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's a good one, because that was one of my other ideas. That I, I was also thinking maybe the remote that uses imagination. That, oh, say that again, Justin? That imagination remote that they give uh, Rafi. Yes. Uh, I think maybe she might try to use it to fix the card. Oh, that's an interesting, that's interesting. Uh, I mean, fix, it, but look, it didn't say it fixes non-organic things. She said it fixes things. It fixes things. With yeah. imagination. I mean, why not? <laughs> so it really is the remote from that Adam Sandler movie. Look. <laughs> 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 Magic remote fixes Picard, but there's also another theory that's more of a George theory. Yeah, that synthetic body that she is preparing for soon. This is also another thing that she's gonna. I think she might do a double fake out and betray soon. Is that instead of giving the body to soon, she's gonna give it to Picard, and this way you get same Picard in a new body. Or the younger actor. Nope. No. Nope. Smack it down. Bow. Nope. I, so I don't think, so I, I think there's some credence here. Not necessarily, you're not going to get a new actor. You think, but I do think that, imagine the, the face of Jean-Luc Picard, the voice of Jean-Luc Picard, as a synth, speaking to the Federation, saying, synths aren't bad. Like right. a new Locutus. I'm just saying, I, I think I think that like there, there's an easy way to wrap up the story. In oh, Picard what if the ship. AI Federation make him the speaker for the Federation? Like Lord make him the speaker for Lord. I have no, a theory. No. I have a theory that they're not going to wrap up the story one single fucking bit in the next episode. They are. They're going to wrap up. They're going to wrap up the <laughs> they're gonna blue ball us. They're not going to wrap up the Borg thing. They're going to blue ball us, is what they're going to do. Well, I mean, just look to the pattern in Discovery. The, the main thing, the main storyline of the season is resolved, but it leads to, a, you know, another related storyline that takes you into the next season. I think mm -hmm. you're going to see the same thing here. Well, yeah, you know, that's, hey, you so, could say that the AI Federation, I mean, you know, they've already been talking who, who about. Who came up with the name AI Federation? That's, um, serious. that's the fill-in that's been tossed around. Yeah. Is it? I hadn't heard that. It, it's the, the, said it. the said greater it. intelligence is a, an alliance of synthetic life forms beyond time and space. Right. Watch right. and, and listen for new AI synthetic life. Soon oh, call okay. it the AI Federation. I didn't, uh, I didn't catch that. Okay. It's during um, the circle. Uh, right there towards the end, he mentions the AI Federation, if you will, or something along that line. Okay, I'll give it a listen and, and um, see what he's what he's. So doing. I have a theory for our cliffhanger. Yes. Okay, so soon gets the golem body. The golem body sort of works. Hooray! Picard actually fully on gets sick to to the point of passing out, and is only able to say to be saved by as non invasively as possible reassimilating them start the second hmm. arc for the Borg. Hmm. I don't okay. hate it. I assimilate them and it goes wrong. I mean, no. do you think do you think we're going to see assimilation happening with this Borg cube? I well, mean, here's the thing. If you I, had a Borg cube and multiple people using Borg transport conduit, that's going to alert the queen. Queen's gonna be like, what the hell is going on here? And and cubes investigate because we already know through Voyager they can monitor. 
transport networks and know what's going on at all times. And Seven herself. This is not a show about about. No, those no. Seven herself said that she was able to sense, uh, you know, see that Picard was in danger whenever she was connected to you. Yes, but at the same time, if the activity is not a direct threat to the collective, they're going to ignore it. And AI Federation is a the very time. big threat to the collective. Yeah, but they're not going to know that just because a cube went through a, through a transwarp conduit. The Borg don't know anything about the AI Federation. Can, yeah. we, can we separate my prediction from whatever the hell Justin's talking about? Yes, yes, it is separate. Okay. 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 <laughs> Like, um, I, I, so, so the the crux of it is, is you have XBs and Seven trying to assimilate Picard as non-invasively as possible. Non-invasively. Yeah, yeah, without all the skin mutilation and, and shit. You mean know? nanoprobes, only like they did in uh, the Voyager episode? I'm... Yeah, that would that could work. Oh wait, yeah, Maybe. because they did that Maybe. with Jacode that one um, there for a bit whenever he got injured. Um, I like uh, I like Justin's prediction better than this one, but I, it could happen. It could happen. What Justin's it, prediction one? about the fix it device fixing Picard <laughs> limited only by your imagination. The magic uh, mode—that's what you call. It. I predict. Okay. Nick. All right. Uh, who's next? New new predictions. I got one. All right, Ross. Judgment rights. The AI, they're going to make contact with the AI Federation. The Romulans are going to swoop in, and when they arrive, they manage to cease all hostilities, and there's going to be a trial or a hearing of some kind. And Thank we're going you. to have three... Thank you will show up. Shut, shut the hell up. Let me finish. Nice people. <laughs> This is his prediction. There are going to be three advocates trying to speak. You're going to have uh, Sutra arguing against uh, against organics. You're going to have Picard at, uh, speaking for, and Soji is going to be the linchpin. I think, yeah, I think this, I like your idea, but I think we're going to uh, minus Soji and raise a Q as a humanities advocate. No. I, 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 I see, I fail to understand what your obsession with Q is. <laughs> Seriously, uh, I mean. I think, I, think, I think Justin's obsession with Q uh, stems from one photo of a red glove in screen or testing. In screen testing. Yeah, and, I remember that. And the fact that Q, every time he shows up, constantly says, the trial never ends. You know the, what? the deciding factor of this will likely be data and the memories of data. Okay, here's the problem I have with this. And that is that this is not that kind of show that, that's going to exactly. put a trial into it. Because I would take it, up into like a, a season finale. Right. It if won't it, be a long one. Just it. it that's how the determination is going to be made. It's not going to be as arbitrary as we imagine it's going to be. There's it going to be, be some kind of appeal for mercy. That's like that's like a whole episode, though, is what I'm thinking here. And it doesn't look like from the trailers that we're getting anything but pew, pew, pew. So, I mean, I, I just, I, I'm going based on what we've seen off the trailer so far. I'm going to. Trailers can be misleading. Well, I guess. Trailers I, I, could literally, that, that trailer could yeah, literally. Yeah, they, the they may be misleading minutes. in, in particular, but overall, you know, the point of a trailer is to give you a sense of the coming episode and when did we see this you trailer. in a trailer before we knew he was on I'm there. not talking about fucking Q I'm talking about <laughs> Ross's <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> Ross's well, and here's another thing to consider in the visions of the admonition we see the Starfleet Delta constantly mm -hmm. I think that the Federation has been under observation for a very long time where did, where did you see that in it the was in the mission? eye of one of the synths. It was in the pattern That's of, right. the That's right. of the planets. We saw data, data. multiple mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are all very specific symbols. And I, I think... We saw an Earth fox be worm-fooded. That's, <laughs> That's right. footage that's been used we, in multiple different productions. Yes, including uh, uh, that show on HBO about the vampires. They used that uh, in their opening credits. Every, true, blood. Was, true, blood. true Blood. True Blood, yeah. I... 
Okay, so Ross, say that, that, like say that yeah. last part again. Um, because I think that's a good separate prediction. Uh, oh, that uh, uh, the, the federation, federation has been, has under, been observation. under observation. Yeah. So the uh, federation scientists, or at least federation citizens, have been working on synthetic life for a long time. Mm-hmm. Or possibly since Soon created the first android, its first yep. android. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. I can see that happening. I predict that Elnor will see spot two. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. <laughs> Elnor. And go kitty, kitty, kitty. Spot two. Gravis, president of the Elnor fan club. <laughs> I'm secretary treasurer. I, I got a prediction. I, I, I got a prediction. If Elnor becomes leader and defend the strangers. No, because uh, we don't know who that well, is. This yet. is well. Wait a minute. This is feeding off the. This is feeding off the belief that Seven will die. So yeah. Or uh, Seven's not gonna die. Seven, Seven dies. Not we riot. Die. Okay. Yeah. I have a. I have She's a. Darryl. I have a shit post prediction. She's, she's Tyrion. Right, exactly. I, I have a shit post prediction. It's okay. memes, okay? So God. Elnor Elnor will get to the colony and he'll lift up his hand and he'll see the butterfly and he goes, Is this a cat? <laughs> <laughs> yes, We're doing it. it. Yes, We're doing it. Yes. That's perfect. Yes. That is, I want yes. that so much. I'm only you putting that in because it's a good shit post, but that's good. That's great. You that's killed beautiful. Ross. You killed Ross. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's outstanding. I mean, I did say it was a shit post. Oh, yes, you did. That's yes. fantastic. Plan Snake Cobra. Pilot as shit post. Okay, any other new predictions? So, I've got a few. All right, J- Jason, hit it. Um, I think that... Um, Girardi is um, being a double agent along with just kind of what Justin said with the intent of trying to save Picard by putting Picard's consciousness into the golem um, I don't know I'm not willing to say whether that happens or not um, I don't think Picard would want it to happen right. but I think that but I think it's very possible that, that it could and I think that could lead to Picard being the branch or the, or the bridge between humanity and synths and synthetic life. So you see it being temporary, just like being Locutus was temporary. Could be temporary or could just be, that's how they solve his brain and he lives in the next season as a synth. I think it's entirely possible. Um, the okay. other thing, I think we're definitely going to see a Federation fleet show up next week. And I think we're going to see Captain slash Admiral Riker in command of said fleet. Federation fleet does show up. We better see Clancy drop one more f bomb. <laughs> we better see uh, war. I, every time she drops an f bomb, the internet blows up. So <laughs> oh, they hate it I so think it's bad. So funny, like what's all the things? Let the lady get. swear. Yeah, I saw no, one look, post. It was like we was like, had I, a fucking plan. What did you do? <laughs> Robert you Meyer Burnett threw a hissy fit <laughs> about the f bomb. <laughs> Let him bitch. And uh, yeah, I was in there like, well, what's the fucking problem with you fucking sentence? He's like, well, you're just doing that for Star Trek. They're like, no, oh, I do that naturally. It's called being human. Look it up. Yeah. Admiral F-Bomb is the best thing that's happened to Trek in a long yes. time. Now, okay. um, right by the way, Michael, I don't know if you saw, I did see this post by Michael Shabon about the swearing. And he said uh, something along the lines like, "It's a part of being human, and um, I know and, it, and if we if we if as, if we had a civilization that did not have swear words, that would be a problem." Yep. Yeah, he, he's he labeled dystopia. That's what he uh, said. Okay. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. Control uh, of language and thoughts. For the record, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Anne Magnuson, who is the actress that plays uh, yeah. Admiral Clancy, uh, she is one of the founding members of a psychedelic rock group, Bongwater. Yeah. So, Bongwater and, uh, and Vulcan Death Grip. 
I did not know Vulcan Death Grip. I did really? not know Vulcan Death Grip either. I did know about Bong. That is amazing. That's awesome. Sour so Bong Water so Serious is a Vulcan Death Grip. She can drop the F bomb all she wants, as far as I'm concerned. She's a fucking rock star. Yeah. Uh, Literally. Yeah. In, fact, in fact, you know what? Here's the thing. When I this this summer, if we actually do have SKLV and she's there, I'm gonna have her inscribe on my thing, either shut the fuck up or go fuck yourself. Seriously, that's what I'm doing. Hey, I'm paying John, for that shit. John, have a right down, eat a fucking biscuit. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't give him the satisfaction. Uh, Justin, you said you had some more, uh, some more predictions. Uh, did, uh, I'm did sorry, Jason. 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 Yeah. So those are it. Those are my two. Oh, I think okay. Those are your two. Yeah. Okay. Last call for predictions. Um, I have one, but I don't know if it's a prediction or not. Um. Oh. So we we've seen we've seen Sutra take this turn, um, and it, it it intrigues me to think that the resolution of this turn may be uh, calling it the lore malfunction. Hell, yeah! As a as a programming malfunction for what the for what uh. Uh, Soong, Soong originally envisioned Lore to be something completely different than what he became because of whatever the hell happened to Lore. And to have this happening to Sutra may be a repeat of that. Well, I think with Lore, it was bad programming. I think Sutra has reached this conclusion based on her own logic. Like, it's not illogical what she's doing. She's like, she's weighing the options. It's like the Romulans are going to destroy us any minute. And <laughs> we have other synthetic life that is welcoming us to join them and will help us. So that's what we're going to do. And the last time they reached out to the Federation, their ambassadors were executed. Right. But they don't know that it was by order from a half Romulan. They do not. They do not. Exactly. Um, I, I, that's... That's, you know, I, 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 I thought about that because, uh, you know, the only way to be able to combat, to, to combat her way of thinking because she is synthetic would be to have a Vulcan show up to argue against her logic. Because, I mean, shit like that seems to happen constantly in Trek. So we're just going to have a deus ex Vulcan? I don't know, honestly. Oh. Picard kind of spent time as a Vulcan. He carries a piece of, of Sarek Sutra, or Sutra Katra, Katra within himself. Yes, and we've seen how well he was able to convince anybody. So, well, I don't think that's going to happen. Here's a question. Why can't it be Here, here's a question. Why the hell wasn't Sutra's sister named Kama? I know, I thought that too. <laughs> I don't get it. Kama, Kama Sutra. Kama. <laughs> Now he gets it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I honestly think that this, this logical run on will, will probably be mentioned as some kind of, of, of lore malfunction. I don't think we'll hear lore mentioned at all. Um... I hope we don't hear it. I'm like so... I said, it's not something I'm willing to stick to. If it gets, <laughs> okay. I'm, not, I'm not. You're not committed. <laughs> okay, good enough. I good enough. I've plan. written it down though, final. son, so we can, uh, you know, in good case, okay. in case you're right. Uh, okay, I think that's our last yeah, one prediction. Final. Oh, yeah, one, one final. final. One okay. final. Okay. If the body transfer goes ahead with two, malfunction happens. And he turns into a new data. Into what? Into a new data. A new data? Not, a new data, data? By him, not data mm. by itself, but all of his mannerisms, a data like Android. The, the, the same mannerisms of yeah, data. The, the uh, transfer goes wrong and he does completely transfer into the new body. It's not exactly him. It's like the Aya Graves thing with the computer. All the knowledge is there, but. The personality's not. Well, then that does not make him a new data. It just makes him data with data's memories. That's, that makes I don't know. That's more. a stretch. Oh, God. 
<laughs> All right, I wrote it down, Justin. I think we're going to be putting an extra we'll that one next week. I'm not committed, but you know. Hey, <laughs> okay. That's very always. All right, so that brings us to an end of this round of the Star Trek Picard Prediction Smackdown. We got some definitive Smackdowns this week. We're going to be focusing next week on these new predictions, and um, we'll see how many we got right, how many we got wrong, and how much how many we got really really wrong. Uh, so join us again. And plenty more fan wake. <laughs> oh, plenty of uh, indeed. Oh, you're just shocking these people, Ross. I think uh, Jason is going to oh, no. slice you with that he's lightsaber. Gonna, no, he's going to do his own fan wake. Oh, he's going to give himself oh. rope burn with that fan wake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Don't forget so, to get your self self checked for many chlorians. Yes, please do. Um, yeah, and the coronavirus. I've heard it's a virus. <laughs> All right, J uh, Jason. Thanks for joining us this week as our special guest, and uh, please come back next week so that you can uh, you can weigh in on how right you were with your predictions. Absolutely. Um, so we'll see you then, uh, son. Thanks again, Travis, Ross, Sean, Justin. We'll see you next week. Remember, program note, we are doing our regular Super Geeks podcast on Sunday. It will be, be released Monday. We will be back next Saturday with um, our review of the last Hello. episode of Trek the Card. No! Oh, God! Who's sharing audio? No! Yes. God, please, no! 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 Okay, we got it. And yes, son, you're watching. Black alert. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right.